In this video, we're going over how to factory reset your Samsung Galaxy A21. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to reset your Samsung Galaxy A21 back to factory settings. The first thing you'll need to do is swipe down from the top of the screen and in the upper right corner, tap on the settings wheel right here. And from there, we're going to swipe up and go to the general management section. Or actually, excuse me. First, you wanna to go to the accounts section. Accounts and backup. And we're gonna tap on accounts. And we're going to remove both of our Google accounts. So tap on the Google account here, tap remove, and then remove account. Now this is super important um, you always have to remove any and all Google accounts before you uh, reset a phone or you will um, brick the phone so the next person won't be able to use it. So we're gonna remove that. You may have other accounts on the phone, no problem. Just make sure the Google account is removed and then we're gonna go to um, take one step back here, hit the back arrow. And now we're gonna go down to the general management section right here. And then we're gonna go down to the reset option and you will tap on factory data reset. And then here it will show you that by resetting the phone, it's gonna sign out of all the accounts and it's gonna erase everything off of the phone and it's going to set it up like a brand new phone. Now, one important note, if you have data on this phone that you would like to save, you should hold off on doing the reset and at the bottom here it shows you you can use the smart switch app to transfer your data either to a memory card um, to a usb storage or to transfer it to another phone first before resetting because once you reset you will not be able to get any of that data pictures contacts all that will be all erased if you don't transfer it before you do this reset so tap on smart switch if you'd like to transfer any of your data and hopefully you have a memory card. If not, we have a link below in the description of where you can buy a memory card. Or if you have the new phone you want to transfer your information to, you'll just need to download the Samsung Smart Switch app on that new phone to transfer it before you do the reset. Next, um, if we're going to push through, tap on reset. You're going to draw your code or enter whatever your pin code is. And this is the last button here. So once you hit delete all, it's going to completely start the factory reset process and once that starts there is no turning back so if you're ready to roll hit delete all and that will uh, trigger your factory reset at that point it's going to take anywhere from uh, a minute to about five minutes to erase all of your data off of the phone and then set the phone up like a brand new phone you will know the factory reset is complete because you will get to a screen that will ask you to select a language so I hope you guys found that helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.